Welcome back, everybody. It's your rehab. Today, we're going to discuss a trigger finger, and we're going to do the short version of how it occurs. Oftentimes, you go to your appointment, you say, look at my finger. They say, yes, you have trigger finger. And you say, how did it happen? And they say they have no idea, or they think it's from disease, or they've never found a cause. To be honest with you, it's really quite simple. It's just basic common sense of biomechanics. And what happens is that um, generally it occurs when you have a weight um, against the thin, uh, sharp edge of, like, say, a box or the handle of a paint can. It can be the bags of uh, plastic, you know, plastic bags of, you know, grocery bags pulling down on you. So I'm holding this grocery bag. It's pulling my fingers downward, right? So what happens is I'm straining to hold this in my fingers. The tendon, the handle right here, is trapping my flexor tendon against the bone. And because it's trapped against the bone, as I'm resisting, and this is pulling downward, the tendon gives, because it's stretching, it can't elongate normally and slide. So what happens is it's giving at the point where it's compressed against the bone, okay? So you're gonna go, it's pulling right here. The tendon is going to hyperstretch right there, and you're gonna get a little micro tear in it. Thus you have a nodule develop, adhesion develop, and you now have trigger finger. Same thing happens when you're holding a, you know, a, a can of paint. Um, thin handle, lots of weight pushing downward. And what happens is this is trapping my bone, uh, the tendon against the bone. And so um, what's going to happen is that as my fingers try to withstand it extending downward and my fingers are flexing, it's going to give it that point where it is trapped at the bone. And thus you get trigger finger. So... Uh, it's just direct trauma um, and a micro tear on that tendon. It can tear at weaker locations along that tendon, but it's generally micro tears at the point where the compression is. And you can be doing that from holding uh, yard tools, uh, from uh, holding onto a spray bottle and spraying uh, repeatedly, and the plastic is pushing against the finger and the tendon right there and trapping the tendon against the bone. And then, so it's grating right there. It's going to hyper stretch it right there where it's trapped, and you're then going to get a tear at that location. So you can be treating it with uh, stretches and exercises. Visit my channel, and you can simply do that effectively and get better. So uh, next time you talk to your doctor or healthcare professional, and they say they don't know how a trigger finger occurs, let them know that you do. Thanks a lot, and come back soon.